We need to secure the octopod. Already on it, Captain. That should keep us safe. Now let's see how everybody else is doing out there. Activate Octoscope. That little island is really getting pounded by the storm. Zoom in, Dashy. Look, fiddler crabs. I hope they're all right. The fiddler crabs will use their claws to tunnel into the sand to stay safe. But their beach is getting destroyed by this storm. Captain, the octoscope is gone. Can you track it on the radar? There it is. It must be somewhere on that island. Let's find our octoscope and clean up that beach. Quasi, peso, to the gums. Feed la crabs! The storm is over! But they'll be it's a mess! Oh, 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 oh. Silence! We have claws, do we not? We, we do. We will use them to clean this up. Uh -huh. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> uh, just warming up. <laughs> oh, it is a, it is a giant crab. Uh -huh. You, what business do you have on our beach? I'm warning you. Stand back. Oh, to the tunnels! Oh. 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 No sign of the crabs yet. Uh -huh. It'll be quite a job finding the octoscope in this mess, Captain. We'd better clear it all away first. Hmm. Look at these tiny balls of sand. Shellington, what do you make of these? It looks like they were made by the fiddler crabs. They put sand in their mouths, eat tiny bits of food from it, and then spit the rest out in little balls. Then we must be near their tunnels. We'll have to be extra careful. Octonaut, let's clean up this beach. <laughs> Time to eat! This giant crab may not be our friend! Hmm, this seaweed just won't come off! Oh, but look! He's giving us a friendly wave! Hello, bonjour! Bonjour! Maybe this will get it loose. Aha! That is no friendly hello! That is a challenge! The giant crab thinks he can take over our beach with a snap of his giant claw! Will we surrender our home to this giant nincompoop? No! Then, sideways, march! That's better. <clears throat> Octonauts, the beach looks great. Captain, I'm sending you a scan of the beach. I found the octoscope. Hmm, those must be the Fiddler Crab's tunnels. And there's the octoscope, buried in the sand. We'll have to dig it out by hand so we don't disturb their homes. If we start digging right there, and we're very careful to avoid this Hey, giant crab, I saw you with your claw. I accept your challenge. I said, I accept your challenge. Huh? You think you can ignore me, you yellow-bellied crab cake? Ah! <laughs> Take that! And that! And that! Ha! Chop! 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 Ha! Oh, and now you try to eat me! Oh, you sorry excuse for a crab! Ah! Shiver me whiskers! It's the fiddler crabs. And somehow, they're being chased by the Gup Z. We have to stop it before they get hurt. Ouch, my claw! 
I'm a medic. I help. <laughs> We've got to catch up with... Ow! Calm down, you scurvy... Ow! Time to sound the Octo Alert! Octo Alert to the Out Queue! Octonauts, we've cleaned up the beach and found the fiddler crabs. Hello. Oh, but we have a big problem. The Gup D is out of control. It's tunneling under the sand. Dashi, can you track it? Looks like the Gup D's moving fast. The fiddler crabs tunnels. They'll be destroyed. Then we need to stop it fast. But ouch! These fiddler crabs aren't making things easy for us. Fiddler crabs like to keep their homes to themselves. They wave their claws and snap at strangers who get too close. Unless they let us help them, they won't have any homes at all. Ha! Oh, I will never find her! Shiver, whiskers, one of those crabs is inside the cup D! Give us back our leader of giant crab! That's not a giant crab. That's our gulp. Oh, whatever it is, it ate our leader. <laughs> Fiddler crabs, we are the Octonauts. We need to work together to stop our gulp and save your leader. If we don't, your homes will be destroyed. <gasps> we will let you help us. No more snapping. And you may tend to my claw. Stop that gap! <laughs> There's only one way to catch it now! Fiddler Crab's tunnels were destroyed by the sinkhole. Oh, thank you. You saved us. Our beach is clean. The giant crab is defeated, and our homes are safe. This calls for a celebration. Hey! Uh, but what about the sinkhole? Oh, don't worry. We will fill it up in no time. Fiddler Crabs, let's eat. Eat and spit. 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 Wow! You don't see that every day. There! No more sinkholes! Yeah. <laughs> you little mateys must really like that sand. But of course. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Captain, a little Vaginal told 
me that this new gup that Tweak's building is called the Gup H. That's right, Quasi. Aha! And, and, and what exactly does the Gup H do? Ah, it's a surprise. You'll find out soon. Uh, I, but I, I reckon I can guess it first. Uh, maybe the H is a clue. Uh, the Gup H is made for hopping. No, that's not it. How's it going, Tweak? Right on schedule, Cap. We're almost ready to show everybody what this gub can do. Very good. We'll be in the octopod if you need us. <laughs> Just one more guess. Uh, uh, the gub H is for hiccuping. No, uh, hammering, uh, honking, uh, helping. All of our gups are for helping, Quasi. <sighs> Uh-oh. Uh, Captain, I'm picking up a reading on the wave tracker. Looks like a tidal bore is heading from the ocean into the Amazon River. A tidal bore is a huge wave that moves up the river. The extra water in the river makes it rise really high. Creatures can get hurt or even thrown out of the water onto the shore. Then let's head to the river to help. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the Gup A. <laughs> Dashi, we've reached the river. Where's the tidal bore now? According to the wave tracker, the tidal bore hit the river about an hour ago. But you've just missed it. Thanks, Dashi. We're heading in. Octonauts, keep your eyes peeled for creatures who need our help. Aye, aye, Captain. It's awfully quiet. Hmm. That's strange. No creatures down here. We'd better check the surface. Where is everybody? Did you hear that? It's coming from the shore. Hi, mateys. There's a group of tiny frogs in the trees, and one of them is waving to us. Let's investigate. Ahoy there, little matey. Oh, don't touch, don't touch. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. No, but he could hurt you. Oh, come on. This little guy hurt me. That's right, that's right. I'm a poison dart frog. I don't bite or sting, but my skin is covered in poison. So if you touch me, you're in trouble, big trouble. That's why poison dart frogs have such brightly coloured skin. It's like a do not touch sign. But I'm pleased to meet you just the same. Name's Robert, Robert. Pleased to meet you too. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi, Shellington, and Peso. We're looking for anyone who needs help after the tidal bore. We've got a big, big problem. Fish in the trees. Fish in the trees. Jump the jellyfish. The tidal bore must have thrown all the fish high up into the trees. Oh no, that's not good for the fish. They need water to breathe. They do have some water. But not enough to last long. There now, back in the river where you belong. But there are lots more stuck up high, really high in the trees. And that means trouble, big trouble for us poison dart frogs. Is it a disaster? Our eggs are about to hatch, and when they do... <gasps> you need the puddles of water up in the trees for the tadpoles. But why do they need puddles of water in the trees? When they hatch, they're not frogs yet. They're called tadpoles. They look like fish and swim in water. Right, exactly right. Each poodle makes a perfect little home for our tadpoles so they can swim around and stay safe. But now, all the puddles up in the trees are full of fish. We need to get the fish out of the trees and make room for the tadpoles. And fast. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the tidal bore has swept fish high into the trees. Our mission is to get them out of the trees and back into the water. I'm ready to climb the highest tree, Captain. Trees in the Amazon are very tall, Quasi. It could take a long time to climb from the bottom to the top. Hmm. We need a faster way. Tweak, what do you think? The girl beach is ready, Cap. Then meet us here at the rescue site as fast as you can. Time to launch the girl beach, Tunip. Yes! Now we'll get to 
the others faster than you can say bunch of munchy. Uh -huh. ah! Very good, Twig. In the meantime, let's rescue the fish that are stuck in the lower branches of the trees. Robert, Robert, will you and the other poison dart frogs help us find all the stranded fish? We'll do, we'll do. When we find the fish, we'll point and signal with a... That's how we croak. Herbert, Herbert, will you keep watching the eggs and signal us when they start to hatch? We'll do, we'll do. Thanks, poison dart frogs. Let's hop to it. All right, Octonauts, let's hop to it, too. Uh, oh, uh, steady. Oh, uh. Found a fish, found a fish. Oh, a piranha. All right, into the bucket and no biting. Here's another, here's another. I'll take you back to the river, little fishy. Up here, up here. This way, this way. I see one, I see one. Coming, coming. Me too, me too. Tadpoles! Tadpoles! The tadpoles are hatching! The tadpoles are hatching! Congratulations! I'm excited! So excited! Time to start putting the tadpoles in puddles! <laughs> is it just me? Or is it starting to get windy? That's not wind! Yeah! It's a giant flying bug! It's the girl bait! Whoa! I based the design on the dragonfly! And the H is for helicopter. You're just in time, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Robert, Robert, are all the little ones safe and accounted for? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Every tadpole has its own paddle, except for one. Mine! <laughs> Isn't she cute? I named her Roberta, Roberta. Time to find one last paddle. Tweak, Tunip, do you read me? Loud and clear, Cap. Robert Robert is up in the treetops and he needs help. I see him, Captain, and the little tadpole on his back. Tweak, take us over to that tree. Quasi, remember, he's a poison dart frog, so don't touch. Uh, 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 uh. Don't worry, little matey, I've got you. <laughs> Sure. Special delivery. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good work, Octonauts. Time to head home. Hey, Quasi, guess what else the ancient girl base stands for? Whoa. Hold on. Alert. Octonauts to the HQ.
Octonauts, we need to... Yeah! Fascinating. That's a type of whale called an orca. Look, there's another. And another. And another. Remarkable. We've attracted an entire pod. What's a pod, Professor? It's a group of orcas, Peso. The pod helps each other through thick and thin, rather like the octonauts. We've got to bump him back. Let's talk before we bump, Quasi. <clears throat> Greetings, Orca friends. Please, do not bump our ship. <laughs> That's enough. Everyone back. I'm terribly sorry. Is your ship all right? Yes, thank you. Is his head all right? Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh, you mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. <coughs> oh, um, that, that was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonauts, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? Want to race? Ah! OK! <laughs> hey, you didn't say go! straight for the beach. Oh my, that's not a good place for an orca. Maybe I can stop him before he gets there. have a head start next time. Bet I'll still win. <laughs> uh, 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 just let me get turned around here. Uh, give me a push, will you? Aye. Uh... Ow! Quasi, are you all right? Aye, Captain, but I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the Vegimals. <laughs> the orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, We'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my pod calling to me. Oh, 
Oh, no. All of the orcas are heading straight for the beach. Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Orcas, stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. <laughs> The orca is too heavy to move when he's out of the water. We've got to figure out a way to pull him back out into the ocean where he belongs. We're gonna need rope. Lots and lots of rope. I'll contact the octopod and ask them to bring all the rope we've got. There's no time to lose. Ouch! Now, you listen here. <laughs> You don't have to hide. No one will hurt you. Mm. This beach belongs to us crabs. You and that giant thing must go, go, go! It's getting hotter and hotter. Octonauts, grab the ropes. Hmm. Ready to test, Cap. Octonauts, take your positions. On my signal. One, two, three, pull! Ow! Stop, stop! Oh, that really hurts. Captain, I don't think it's enough to pull him. Now, if we could get the ropes under him, we could lift him up. Hmm. We need a way to tunnel under the sand with the ropes. I think I know who can help us. Attention, crabs! You crabs have a special ability to tunnel under the sand. Will you use it now to help the orca? No! He got himself into this. He can't get himself out. Ah! Let me help you. There you go. Well, that was uh, really quite helpful. Thank you. So, are you with us? Okay, sideways, march! Octonauts, let's do this! One, two, three! Pull! Again! One, two, three, pull! <laughs> One, two, three, pull! Ah, it's working! Keep pulling! Captain, our pod is grateful to you and your pod. You can always count on the Octonauts to help. Remember to call on us if we can ever do anything for the Octonauts. Shall we practice our special signal? <laughs> Goodbye, Orca friends. Goodbye, Captain. Until we meet again. Ready to go, Tweak? Yep. I've put in an eject button just like you wanted, Quasi. It'll help you escape from the gup in an emergency. No! Press this, and you'll be bounced out of the gup beef faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Time to take a ride and test out the new button. No! Now, hold on. You need to know how to work this.
this thing. I press the button, I get bounced out of the gut. Easy. First, you turn off the engine, then you press the button. Hi, I'm me hearty. Now open the octo hatch. If you don't turn off the engine first, the gut bee will drive away without you. Got it. Now let's go. You forgot, didn't you? Forgot? No! Um, forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button. And now I've lost my favourite cup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the HQ. Octonauts, the gut bee is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashi, check the gut finder. It should show us where the gut bee is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the gup C right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the gup B again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the gup B. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gut sea ready, Tweak? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest! Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh. Quasi? Oh. Let's go, Shellington. <laughs> Amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the gup finder, we're close. This way. Whoa. Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest! Orange shark? Ho! 
Hold on. That must be the gut B. Come back here. Hey, what did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Aye, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> yeah! uh, 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 he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish! Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No, he mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup, but when you feel down, it helps to look up. Oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gut bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go. <laughs> The gup finder shows that the gup bee should be right here. Then why can't we see it? Where could it be? You! Yeah, you! Here, over here. Who said that? Up here! <laughs> Up where? Right here, silly! <laughs> where? Captain, the kelp leaves are talking to me. Kelp leaves? Talking? They say that the gut bee's right here. Oh, but where? Look, there's nothing here but kelp. It's... it's... The gut bee! Yeah! Did you miss me? Ha <laughs> I missed you too. We told you it was right in front of you. You're not a kelp leaf. I'm a kelp fish. We're all kelp fish. <laughs> <laughs> they do look just like leaves of kelp. That makes it easy for us to hide whenever we want in the kelp forest. Come along now. Playtime is over. Hi, Mum. We really fooled them. <laughs> they thought we were kelp leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, children. Octonaut, let's get the gut bee out of this forest. Yow! Aye, aye, Captain! <sighs> it's good to be back in my favourite gut. You just put your feet up, Quasi, but not on the eject button. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> Everyone keep a lookout. Captain, it looks like they're heading our way. We should be able to see them out of the window any minute now. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, the eels are on the move. They should be here any minute. This only happens one time each year, so we don't want to miss it. <gasps> there they are! Eels! 
Lots and lots of them. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're in a big hurry to get somewhere. But where? They're on their way from the ocean up the river to the lake. It's a dangerous journey. No one knows exactly how they do it. Octonauts, our mission is to follow these eels and find out. Shellington. Thank you, Captain. Every year, a group of young eels travels from the ocean where they were born up the river to this lake where they will live. That looks easy enough. Ah, but there are all kinds of dangers along the way, Quasi. Rocks, rough bumpy water, sudden twists and turns in the river. I'd like to try that trip myself. And that's why you'll be driving the Guppe with me on this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the launch bay. Come on, mateys. Those slippery eels have a head start, and we've got to catch up. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You've got it, Cap. We've already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Where be those eels? Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. Urgh. We're going upstream and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm going to need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow. Steer with me. One, two, three. Thanks, Quasi. Now let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. The eels are swimming fast. Aye, but we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing. Anywhere they can go, we can go too. to Barnacles, are you all right? We're all right, Dashy. We're just going for a little spin. <laughs> oh no, I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the octopod. We're all okay, but the guppe has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after him, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacle's out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing. Uh -oh. Help. Huh? Help. Did somebody say something? Help. Where are you? Down here. Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. Oh, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. I can't move. 
Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. <sighs> you need a bandage. That was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help getting back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye, Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. That water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. Got it! Grab a hold! Let's go. A cave. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. We have to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. Aye, and full of squirmy eels. Where were you? We lost you. We were worried. These are my friends. Oh, thanks for getting me here. Well, you young eels certainly work hard to get where you're going. I admire your determination. It's what we do. And when we're old enough, we'll head back down the river to the ocean and have baby eels of our own. And when those babies are old enough, they'll make their journey up the river. Aye, and we'll get to have this adventure all over again. Crashing the duck, going through tunnels, swimming through rapids and over rocks. Right, Peso? If you say so. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> More relaxing than a moonlight drive. Flying fish. So, you want to race, do ye? You're on. A buzz, me fizzies. Wow. I've been hit. It's a snake attack. <laughs> ah, show yourself, you scurvy coconut. Uh, oh, blubbering blowfish, 
It's the mark on me grandfather, Calico Jack. Something's inside. <gasps> Very treasure. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. <coughs> oh. Hmm. I think this calls for my newest invention, the Octo Claw. This little beauty will crush or crack almost anything, including coconuts. Yow! Now let's try it on Calico Jack's coconut. Still trying to open this coconut, eh? I don't get it. My Octoclaw should have done the job. I modeled it after the greatest coconut cracker in the animal world, the coconut crab. Maybe that's who we need to help, um, crack this mystery. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Ow! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to find a way to open up Calico Jack's coconut. We'll need the help of the greatest coconut cracker of all. Shellington? Ah, yes, the coconut crab, the largest land crab in the world. It has powerful pincer claws used for cracking open coconuts. Where can we find these crabs? You'll need to look on an island. Coconut crabs live strictly on land. This shows all the islands in the area, Captain. Hmm. Zoom in on that one, Dashy. It's crawling with coconut trees. Exactly. And where there are coconut trees, there are usually... Coconut crabs! Tweak, ready the Gup X. Alan, straight ahead, Cap. Coconut crabs only come out at night. We don't want to scare them off. Tweak, activate stealth mode. You got it, Cap. Hmm, not a crab to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There. No, over there. <gasps> the coconut, it's gone. Tweak, spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi. You head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah. How did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? Oh, I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. 
It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. My babies! Mummy! Coy! Tim! Clarence! Us coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim! Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. Peso, activate Octo Ski. Tweak, activate Glider. Operation Coconut Drop begins now. Ready, coconut. Crack. And drop. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> gotcha. There's clam. There's a lot of wind. This could get bumpy. Coconut ready. Crack. I don't see Clem. I've got to get a closer look. <laughs> there he is. Damn drop. <laughs> nice catch, matey. And I might add, ouch. Was he dropping trouble overhead? Thanks, fishies. <laughs> That's Clarence. Thank you, Octonauts. Good work, everyone. Mission complete. Ah, but we still haven't cracked Calico Jack's coconut. You're right. Hmm. If we drop it onto a rock from up here, it just might crack open. Okay, drop. Uh, ah! in the coconut. This is no coconut. It's a hollowed out cannonball from Calico Jack's ship. Whoa! Whoa. So that's why it was so hard to crack. And here's a note from Calico Jack. He says, thanks for rescuing me, mateys. These here three coconuts are for the little tykes to practice their cracking skills. Training coconuts! Let's get cracking! Look, there's something on the other side. So there is. Oh, and if you ever run into me grandson Quasi, tell him for me. Yeah! Scurvy old sharks, and then the treasure's mine. Be careful, Quasi. Don't worry about me, Captain. I'm always careful. Looks like.
like you could use a lift. Grab on. <laughs> right on time, Captain. See you later, Shockies. And then, ten, no, twenty ravenous sharks came out of nowhere and chased me out of the shipwreck. Really? Well, sort of. But I still made it out of there with this. Hmm, it's a beautiful medallion, Quasi. It's not just a medallion, me hearties. This is a treasure map. According to pirate legend, these lines lead to an underwater hidden city full of treasure. Many have gone looking for it, but none have ever succeeded. In fact, my own grandfather, great pirate Calico Jack, once set out to find it and was never heard from again. It'd be the one treasure he never did find. Amazing. A hidden city somewhere out there in the ocean. Ah, not in the ocean, Peso. To find a hidden city, we have to venture into the deepest, darkest depths of the Amazon River. <clears throat> the Amazon River. Captain, that's your cue. Oh, uh, right. Um, <clears throat> Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have a special mission ahead of us. Quasi has found a map to a hidden city, and we're going to the Amazon River to find it. Jumping jellyfish. The Amazon is the largest river on the planet. Some parts of it have never been explored. It's full of amazing creatures. Many of them only live in the Amazon. I can't wait! Excellent. Well, what are we waiting for? Mind if I drive this time, Captain? Be my guest, Quasi. Dashi, activate steering wheel. I'm on it, Captain. Yeah. Off the north, to the Amazon! you look at that? Freshwater stingrays, cave, manatees, and oh, look at those parrots! That parrot kind of looks like... Huh? Well, Quasi, which way to the hidden city? Straight ahead, Captain! Left or right, Quasi? Let's see. According to the map, um, left or right? Uh, no, 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 that's not it. Um, maybe if I turn it this way. Um, oh. Something wrong, Quasi? It, it doesn't say which way to go. This map is no good. So what should we do? We'll have to do this the pirate way. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a pirate by the toe. If me hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, Whoa! <laughs> Everyone okay? I... I think so, but what just happened? Cap, you better take a look at this. Of course. Falling trees are very common along the Amazon. It's nothing a little polar bear strength can't fix. Come on, everyone. One, two, three. <laughs> That's it. One, two, three. <laughs> huh? Listen. It's a tidal bore. A wave of water from the ocean is moving up the river. And it's moving fast. Everyone hang on to something. Now! <laughs> Phew. Hmm. That wave must have carried me up the river. Octonauts! Can you hear me? Quasi, Peso, anyone, come in. No sign of the gups either. Better check the gup finder on my octo compass. Oh, it must have come loose. 
I can't see a thing down here. Huh? Hello? Who's there? Hola! Whoa! A dolphin in a river? That's right! I'm a river dolphin! The name's Bertha. I've lived my whole life right here in the Amazon. I'm Captain Barnacles, leader of the Octonauts. And, uh, I seem to have lost my Octo Compass. Hmm. Is it small? Round? Smooth? Yes, but how did you know? Found it for you! Thanks, Berta. You're wondering how I did that, aren't you? Well, I used the special sounds to find things in the murky water. I, uh, don't suppose you can help me find my crew? We came up the river looking for the hidden city. A hidden city? Here in the Amazon? Oh, this I gotta see! <laughs> when the tidal bore swept us all away. I tell you, I've seen some big waves in my day. Wait. Just around the bend. Some kind of a struggle. Like something's hurt. Peso! Shh. I've got a bit of a situation here, Captain. This poor eel, the wave tangled her up. Stay back, or I might do something crazy. <laughs> That's not just any eel. That's an electric eel. When it gets upset. <laughs> that was just a little taste. Careful, Peso. I've got this, Captain. Easy now. I'm not going to hurt you. Better not. Or else. Or else. <gasps> Shh. I just need to... There. But my tail, it still hurts. I'll just bandage that up for you. Peso! What's the big idea? Scaring me like that? I ought to... Hey, my tail. It feels better. Thanks. No problem. Good work, Peso. <laughs> Eat up, Quasi. Tis good to see you again. You were just a wee kitten when I first came here looking for the hidden city. But what happened? You've been missing for years. Nah, the old thing was cursed from the start. Twas smooth sailing when Pete and I first set off up the Amazon. But little did we know that the rainy season was about to begin. My ship was nearly destroyed, but was still seaworthy until it was attacked by a flotilla of furious fire ants. I was forced to abandon ship and take me chances in the river. But an even bigger danger lurked beneath the waves. A gigantic green anaconda snake, nearly as long as the river itself. We tussled mightily as the current swept us downstream towards waters even more treacherous and certain doom. Luckily, Pete's walked out morning just in time. And? And what? The hidden city. Did you ever find it? Nah, not yet, Quasi. I've been going in circles for all these years, thanks to this no-good map. Hold on. Ah. Well, I'll, I'll be, be a sea monkey's, monkey's uncle. uncle. 
It takes both parts to make the full map. Oh, well, what are we lollygagging around here for? Let's go! Captain, look, that's Dashy's camera. Hmm, but where's Dashy? Dashy? Dashy, are you? I found this Arapaima on the riverbank. We need to get him back in the water. Oh no, he can't breathe. <gasps> oh no, but I can. We Arapaimas can gulp air to breathe. <gasps> like this. <gasps> but only for a little while. Don't worry, we're here to help. Peso, you take that fin. Dashy, you take that one. <laughs> oh, that big <laughs> Thank you, my friends. You're welcome. But what were you doing on the river bank? Aha! That wave tossed me, the biggest fish in the Amazon, right up onto the river bank. Look what it did to my camera. That thing up there. Hmm. You better let me help you with that. Wait till you see this. Whoa! Oh, thanks. Now, how about a picture? A picture? Oh, but certainly. <laughs> That's nothing, Quasi. Hang on! Yeah! <laughs> I still can't believe it. I'm on a treasure hunt with Calico Jack. Oh, Quasi. Call me Granddad. Aye, aye, Granddad. Oh, we're getting close now. I can feel it in my peg leg. The hidden city should be just on the other side of this marsh. <laughs> Granddad, did you just... Shh, listen. I've got a funny feeling about this place. It's almost like someone's... <laughs> Oh, what a cute little baby. <laughs> Not too friendly, though. This marsh is ours. No one may enter. <laughs> what are those things? Capybaras. I've never seen a map like this before. <laughs> and stay out. Ooh, didn't see that coming. We're getting closer to the gup, eh? Just a little bit further. Oh, hello there. Hungry. Captain, oh. I'm not sure I like the look of these fish. Any idea what they are, Berta? Those guys? They're piranhas. Ah, piranhas. Piranhas? <laughs> Captain, up here! Shellington, tune in! <laughs> Just in time, Captain. Those piranhas nearly made you their lunch. I was trying to tell you, the piranhas aren't hungry for you. They hardly ever eat anything bigger than themselves. Huh? Then why are they chasing us? They sometimes get excited when they smell something they like. Hungry. But what could they be smelling? Aha! Oh, fascinating! Junip, your fish biscuits are a big hit! <laughs> yeah, tis a riddle, Quasi. The capybaras are usually gentle creatures. What's gotten into them? They must be protecting something. Like a hidden city. Can we sneak past them? No, oh, that's just what they'd be expecting. We've got to surprise them. We've got to swashbuckle them. We've got to do this the pirate way. Yeah! Something big up ahead. The guppy. Oh, it's still stuck, though. Don't worry, Cap. Tweak! I found someone who can help us. Of course. That's a banak. A wooded in catfish. 
I found him nibbling some old rotten tree stems. I figured he could use a proper meal. Mmm, nice and fresh. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Mr. Catfish. Anytime. <laughs> All right, everyone, into the guts. We've still got one more octonaut to find. Woohoo! You're doing great, Quasi! This time! I'm right behind you, Grandad! Yeah! And a conda snake! Happy virus. Tasty. Grandad, look! It's my children, honey! Oh, they was just protecting their wee ones. Aye, and we've brought a hungry anaconda into their midst. We've got to help them. Ah, over here, you big slithery beast. You leave them little capybaras alone. Mm, never tasted one of those before. Ah. Keep him busy, Quasi. Here you go, little mateys. Uh -huh. Grandad, look out! <laughs> it's more rubber. Over here, snakeys! You keep scooping and I'll... Yeah! Snack time! There's too many of them, Quasi! We can't give up, Grandad! The pirate way, remember? <laughs> Or how about the Octonaut way? <laughs> right on time, Captain. <gasps> Is that... Ahoy! No time for These capybaras need our help. A good thing we brought back up. <laughs> Octonauts, let's do this. Octonauts. Thank you for your help, everyone. And thank you, um... Octonauts, meet the greatest cat pirate who ever lived. My granddad, Calico Jack. Calico Jack. Ooh, good to meet you. Smile. Tis the greatest of pleasures, Octonauts. But now is not the time for talking. We still need to find the hidden city. Come on, mateys. It's just on the other side of this marsh. You mean our marsh, which we will let you pass through. Thank you for helping us. Come on, everybody. To the hidden city. This must be it. Get ready to feast your eyes on... Where is it? Oh, it should be right here. <sighs> After all that. Wait. Huh. The tidal bore must have filled the lagoon with muddy water, and now it's washing back out. Look! Oh, oh. shiver me whiskers. Freshwater sponges! Incredible! Well, I guess this is your hidden city, Quasi. You mean there's no treasure? Oh, tis the hunt for the treasure that counts, Quasi. But we've had ourselves a wild one. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Dumping jellyfish. These fish, I've never seen anything like them, any of them. They're all new species. This really is a treasure. Well done, you two. <laughs> They're beautiful. That's my work. Well, Quasi, time for me to set sail. Oh, I've spent enough time here in the Amazon. I've got a lot more adventures to have, treasures to find, and swashbuckling to do. <laughs> what say you join me? Me? Go with you? Picture it. Calico Jack and Quasi, together on the Seven Seas. 
Grind that up. Fuzzy, come and have a look at these fish. There's a really fast one you're going to love. Well, Quasi? Oh, it would be an honor to set sail with your granddad, but there's only one ship I sail on now, and that's the Octopod. The truth is, I'll always have the heart of a pirate, but I'm an octonaut now. Oh, I understand. Tis a hearty crew you've got there, Quasi. You're a good pirate and a brave octonaut. Come on, Pete, get a flap on. Fare thee well, Quasi. Ah, goodbye. Keep an eye out for me wherever you set sail. Aye, aye, Grandad. Aye, aye. Amazing. Stop the jellyfish. Look at that one. All right, Maisies, let's see these fish. Shiver, whiskers, he is a fast one. Look at that one. He's a fast one. And over there, that's the silverest fish I've ever seen. Barnacles. Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. 